Down and move to Ellen Road. Uh, here's John with news apparently. What could be yet another blow for Leeds United, John? Yes, thanks, Mike. This afternoon, Leeds manager George Greville has been playing down speculation that Ghanaian striker Tony Yeboah wants to leave. Now, it follows overnight reports that Yeboah is unhappy and is the focus of attention from clubs in France and Germany. And he goes, curls one in. Fantastic. Goals like that have made Tony Yeboah a cult figure at Elland Road, but in this morning's newspapers, a bombshell. Frustrated at being left on the substitutes bench after apparently recovering from injury, he spoke out. I'm not happy and I think it would be good for me to have a change. If any offers come in for me, I have to listen, he said. It all came as a huge surprise to his manager. I think the way he handled it was poor. Uh, I think if he'd have come and see, to see me, and we could have chatted about it. I would have explained to him that uh, in any successful team, or even any big side, and uh, this is a big, big club, Leeds United, everybody's got to fight to get the earn, to earn the right to get in the team. You know, and the team's doing well at the present time. Today, no comment from Yeboah, signed by Graham's predecessor, Howard Wilkinson, for almost three and a half million pounds from Eintracht Frankfurt. But not surprisingly, the fans don't want him to go. I'd be disappointed. He's been a good player. I'd be sorry to see him go. If we lose him, I think... Oh, well, I don't know what to think, really. It's devastating. I honestly believe that Tony is a bit frustrated. You know, he can see the team doing well. He's now getting fit. He wants to be back in the team, scoring some goals, being the, the fans' favourite. I think it was born out of frustration more than anything else. Graham has already spoken to Yubo. He's confident they can work things out. Meanwhile, if going public was simply a ploy by the Ghanaian goal scorer to put pressure on the manager to pick him, it hasn't worked. He won't play against Spurs on Saturday because of a recurrence of his old knee injury. There you, go. you don't change a losing team, do you, John? Well, he's... A winning team, I should say. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're in trouble. No, I'm in trouble, aren't I? Yeah. Bell wants to play in Europe. Yeah. He says he's going to quit at the end of next season. and uh, yeah. So he, he's, he's anxious to play in Europe and obviously leads under yeah. the this time. He's certainly popular. Thanks, John. George Graham has moved to quash speculation that the club's star player, Tony Yeboah, is about to leave. The Ghanaian striker was widely quoted in today's sports pages as being unhappy at Elland Road with hints of a deal lined up to take him abroad. Tanya Arnold has been following the day's events. Goals like that quickly made Tony Yeboah the darling of the Elland Road faithful. Though he's been sidelined for eight months through injury, news that he wants to leave has been greeted with disappointment by the fans. Oh, I'd be very disappointed if he went. I mean, he's been a tremendous for Leeds, and uh, you don't get goal scorers like that every day. <laughs> Last week at Middlesbrough, we drew nil nil. Neither Dean or Rush scored, so I think it's time for you both to come back in the team now. And uh, you know, if he's worried about first team action, actually, I think he should be assured about Leeds. Whether he plays on Saturday, you know, I don't know, but. Um probably his last match if he does play, isn't it? All in all, it's been a pretty bad week here at Ellen Road. It started with John Scales snubbing the club in favour of Tottenham. The Thomas Brolin saga rumbles on, and they woke up this morning to the news that their star player reputedly wants to leave. Since his comeback in a reserve game, Yeboah has found himself on the substitutes bench for the last two matches. He said to be frustrated that in both he remained on the sidelines, but his manager was annoyed that he learnt about it in the papers. He's been injured eight months now, had one and a half games in the reserves, coming along very nicely. Uh, but to read that in this morning's paper really was very disappointing, a bit surprising really, because uh, I've got no axe to grind with Tony, and the quicker he's back to full fitness, uh, and competing for a place in the team, the better it will be for everybody, Tony included. His form in the last couple of seasons certainly makes him an attractive target. He claims clubs in Germany, Spain and France have shown an interest. He's always made it clear that he wants to play in European... Tanya Arnold reporting.